Hello guys, this is the Swatter Guy here and welcome back to some more informative videos uh, about Star Wars The Old Republic. Now this one is going to be huge, ladies and gentlemen, because they are going to remove the PvP gear. So when they left off, for a lot of PvP players, they are hoping to get something good as a PvP players, but now they just gonna remove the PvP gear, which is insanely, I, I personally think, it's a bad idea. But let's go and take a look what they are said. So one of the things we talked a bit about the stream is that we are gearing changes happening with Knights of the Eternal Throne. This thread is meant to give you a few more details of some of the things that will happening in Knights of the Eternal Throne. Along with being a place that I can address questions or concerns, you have these changes. First, there are the details of how gearing will work at level 70. So let's just take a look and go through these. Once you hit level 70, the Swords of End Gear will be Command Crates from Galactic Command. So, when you hit level 70, you're gonna get probably the highest or probably decent gear as possible. But let's go. Most activities in the game will earn command experience points, CXP, which will earn you command ranks. Each time you command rank increase, you earn a command crate. The higher your command rank, the better the better gear that will drop your command crate. So if you better your or you're doing a lot of these and you're like for example probably like level 10, you're gonna get uh, like uh, probably 190 or 120 gear and I mean 220 gear and after that it goes up. I don't know, but we'll see. The highest difficulty operations and the pricings also along with ranked war zones are intended to be the fastest way to earn CXP. This meant they are the fastest way to get the best gear. So what does mean? What this is mean? You no longer need to do operations or PvP ranked war zones or war zones to able to get the best gear as possible because they are just gonna like merging the gear into one gear and they just gonna do that so yeah I don't know about that uh, both PvP and will PvE gear we come will come from command crates their gear is now shared as expertise is being removed head to this thread to discuss PvP slash PvP itemizing special specificality so that is a lot of stuff like there will be no sense to doing pvp because you have the pvp gear uh, thanks to your pve gear if that makes sense for you so the pvp gear is go just gonna be the same job but without expertise so <clears throat> back in the day the they had this uh expertise i think they started this uh in i don't know one point something 1.7 1. 1 point i don't know something there was no uh xp by way or uh, pvp bonus when you like uh started the pvp back in the day but they just added i think the expertise and now they just gonna remove the expertise that makes no sense for me but okay Gear will no longer drop from bosses as all gear will come from command crates. As I said, it doesn't really matter if you're doing an operation because an operation bosses are not gonna give you shit! What the fuck? What the f- Oh my god, I'm so frustrated for this. All cosmetics slash unique drops will still remain on those bosses. Stronghold decorations, wings of architects, at, at least they got that. Good job, Bioware. I'm so frustrated. And probably a lot of people is frustrated thanks to this. All of the operation gears, all of the PvP gears are now coming to this command... Command... Whatever rank. Galactic command. What the hell? I mean, it's a good for usual players or just some players who don't want to waste too much time. 
for like doing operations and stuff like that. But the good thing is with this, if you are level 70, so that means free to players probably not gonna do the galactic command. So the free to players are gonna be like level 65 and uh, there will be like uh, no gears for them. Players will be able to craft comparable items to level gear without set bonuses. So probably you can craft the same stuff, but without the set bonuses. So that is just kind of bad. That should come around all the basics coming too. But there is a lot of questions on, uh, on this, but we're going to get into that. So there is a lot of hate and probably a lot of love thanks to this for like casual players, but a lot of hate for, a lot of hate for the hardcore players. So, hey folks, as we talked about this a bit on the stream, there are some gearing changes happening with Knights of the Eternal Throne. The purpose on this thread is to go, yeah, 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 fuck off. Expertise is being removed from the game. Uh, my thoughts about this is, uh, is I think this is, uh, first of all, it's a good idea because the expertise uh, is not made much sense uh, in PvP now as well because if you like want to have a little bit of expertise but you still have like decent PvE gear you mix the two of them and you still gotta be decent in PvP but uh, thanks to the expertise is gonna be removed that means probably a lot of players are just gonna go and smash it with a lot of high high rated PvE gear thanks to this so the PvP, there is, there will be like more players coming in to uh, do some PvP content. But the question is for me, what is gonna be left for like PvP? So like, what are you gonna get, or what do you want to farm after this? Maybe a, a a cosmetic gear or an adaptive gear? I don't really know about this. Any color crystal which have expertise on them will have converted into a new type of color crystal mastery. So what is this means that any of these expertise crystals are gonna go to mastery. So that is gonna be good for the uh, for the GTM because uh, as soon as they gonna change, like they are gonna go high up the price probably, but we don't know it yet. Any, uh, yeah, we talked about that. There is no longer an expertise requirement to get into war zones. This will be replaced with the wallow requirement. Interesting. That is a good point. Finally, something good into like PvP players. So if you like not uh, like Valor 40, you're not gonna go uh, and get a chance to play against Valor. Uh, let's say 80 players or 90 players which is good because they are if they are like between 90 and 100 they probably they played a lot of these pve and pvp will shell the same gear yeah uh, i thought this is gonna happen i'm i'm not pissed off for that uh but it's a it's actually a decent thing but the bad thing about this is the PvP and the operations are not gonna go make any sense now anymore because you're not gonna get anything else. Back in the day, you went into an operation to get gear, but now since you can get that from the command crates, uh, from the Galactic Command, that means you don't wanna do an operation unless you want the wings of the architect or something else. But the good thing about this one also is means <clears throat> there will be like a lot of players who have a lot of high high rated gear and they can go into these operations or more zones but that is going to be bad as well so that is the good side of this thing but the bad side of this they are going to enter this operation as a highest like high rated gear but they don't know shit about how they're going to use that gear or how they're going to defeat that boss fight or how they're going to play pvp so that is just gonna be bad for that uh yeah crystals and warzone combinations will be also phased out in eternal throne that will have more details on our conversation plans on the in the coming weeks okay so the warzone combinations will also be placed out, phased out and the crystals so that means they are gonna remove so what are we gonna have after the war zone combinations? Maybe common crystals? 
well, I don't know, common, I don't know. So, we're gonna go have a couple of questions. So, let's just go check this out. Uh, first question by Gerbo. What happens to the priority ops? Priority ops will no longer exist. Shit. <laughs> There are sorts of replacements in that operation that can be daily bonus, which will award bonus C X P for for doing them. There is gonna be a lot of rage. Like there is a lot of players who try to do operations and they are just uh, like there was a the this group finder and where you find uh, the priority ops there, which yeah, which is gonna be like draft fortress and that for that that week or that day. And they are just going to remove it. Okay. Fine. Uh, Rolodome. Is there a cap to command rank? As in, for example, you reach level 100 command rank and you can't progress... Can pro and you can progress no further. Also, will any of this affect gearing prior to level 70? There is a cap. Uh, when you hit the cap, you will continue to earn CXP and fill your bar so that you level. So that means if you reach 100, that means you're still going to level up and still going to get the uh, command craze probably. When this happens and you are capped, you will, yeah, but not level up. So that means I'm going to get the command crate still. So I'm going to get the highest gears, highest stuffs, but not leveling up, which is a good thing, I think. Uh, Jack Jack, three questions. One, just to clarify, you only have to hit level 70 to access commandments and not complete its story, Kotet story, correct? Okay. Is there a max level for command ranks? And third, once we hit that level, there will be any way to obtain rewards that we didn't get. Thanks. Okay. Uh... First question, yeah, correct, you need to be level 70 to access GC. So you don't need to do the storyline at all, which is good. If you're not interested in the Knights of the Eternal Throne storyline, that means you just need to get level 70, whatever the hell you wanted to, and you can have access to, com the, to the command ranks. Uh, is there any way to max uh, level? Yep. Uh, yes, there is a max level still in flux, so they don't know it. And, uh, yep. So once we hit that level, is there any obtain? Uh, yeah, so that is good. Okay. Yantas is the next one. Uh, also, what happens to all current commendations? That's what I asked. Do they turn into points or just rendered worthless? Current combinations will be going away. There will be have more details in the coming weeks on that conversation. So the war zone commendations are gonna be removed. Probably. And the ranked war zone commendations. Oh, oh that, I don't think there is any. Maybe there is tokens there, but nothing else. That is suck. So the war zone commendations are gonna remove, so that is gonna probably hit up a lot of stuff. So that means if you wanna buy like war zone or PvP decorations, they are just gonna change that. Uh, there will be like a lot of players who can buy that and sell that, which is good. Okay, let's move on. Next question, Demunoki. First off, are these random drops? Let's, that is say I'm extremely unlucky and can't get the pe best earpiece or, for my char at all. Secondly, uh, are you saying uh, that if a player grinds heroic two for long enough, he can get nightmare gear? Uh, first question uh, for the answer is, yep, the drops will be random. The item will determine your advanced class and the item rating is determined by your command rank. Higher rank, higher, yeah, we talked about that. Keep that, keep in mind that you can always earn more crates and that you designate any duplicate and unwanted items into CXP and get your next crate faster. That is amazing. So that means if you, I I knew these command ranks or crates are gonna be random. Uh, I mean random drops. I know that. But 
if you have the gear already for that thing, you can turn it into uh, XP, which is really good, and that means uh, you like halfway to the next level to earn galactic crates. I, I like that. Uh, and the second uh, question uh, for the answer is yes, all end gear now level 70 can be earned by doing almost any activity. However, someone doing Nightmare Master, they changed that to Master, level operations as an example will get down substantially faster than someone doing easy slash solo content. Yeah, uh, that is good, but doesn't really matter. So you're still gonna get nightmare gear from nightmare or master operations, but it doesn't really matter because you're gonna get that uh, in the in the crate. So that is good. Next one, uh, since bosses will no longer drop gear in operations, there will be a lockout on operations. Good question. Yup, lockouts will still remain in place. Although they don't directly drop gear, they will still drop their other cosmetic rewards and they'll be one of the best sources for of command experience points. So, <clears throat> one of the best ways to learn. Okay, PS Stutter, next question. Balancing will be the key. If doing offices rewards, say, four, <clears throat> uh, four times better uh, you earn the galactic points than anything else, does effectively dumps away more crates on your f on you faster, uh, then it will be totally worth to do ops and gear the fastest this way. Bonus aside, it is the goal the fastest way to earn CXP will be thought the hardest difficulty operations and the uprising along with ranked arenas. <clears throat> okay, I get that. How are free-to-play pr uh, slash preferred player players supposed to get upworthy gear after Knights of the Eternal Throne launches? Uh, huh! Free-to-play and preferred players will be unable to earn end gear since they not have access to the Galactic Command. That is a slap to the face, ladies and gentlemen. They just gonna say fuck those players. Who not subscribe? You're not gonna get shit. Then this is what they said. So free to play preferred players who just, for example, subscribe for one month, uh, they are not gonna get the highest gear possible because you you are you are not a subscriber. So they say, okay, go fuck yourself and just subscribe if you wanna go and learn or earn more uh, upworthy gear. That is kind of bad. That is just a slap in the face. If they were a subscriber who went preferred and had earned gear though, uh, gear through Galactic Command, we won't take it away. But they will be unable to earn additional gear, thought command rank, thought command ranks until they subscribe. They can still get gear through crafting. That is unchanged. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> that is a slap in the face, guys. I mean, seriously, this change can ruin Star Wars The Old Republic. Like, literally, it's a slap in the face. Holy cow. Okay, let's just move on. Is there any questions still? Yeah. Okay. Next question. Uh, how can you do the hardest difficulty without having gear first? This seems contradictory to me. Surely you need a decent set of gear before you can touch Nightmare. Fair point, but that isn't too similar to how it works now. If you're someone who loves operations as an example, you may start the story operations, you get command ranks up and gear up until your character is ready to move into Master. Yeah, that is simple. Uh, in general, the rule for uh, command XP is that more players are participate in content and the harder that content is the faster you earn it although it isn't the fastest as it, it isn't as fast as master operation doing a story operation is still worth more uh, command XP than doing heroics would be <clears throat> 
they're gonna change up the uh, the operation big time. They wanna like the Knights of the Eternal Throne. Like this one is what just wanted to do like so many operations. Again, they just gonna go into like okay, let's do more group content. And that is, I think, yep, that 